Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk Some More, Australia. What is going on over there? Well, you're not going to know much about it in the UK mainstream media. They won't tell you about the protests they've been having or the convoy of truck drivers blocking the road because the mainstream media don't like talking about these things. The Australian government have had two deaths from the virus in the last eight months. Two deaths. And I believe one was... 80 plus years old. Very few cases over the last seven months. Even then, they've been in and out of lockdowns. And in the last few weeks, they've gone completely hardline lockdown because the cases have risen a little. The police have told the public that they need an excuse to leave the house. With one police commissioner saying that they will arrest you if you go out browsing in shop windows looking at shoes, saying this is not the time to buy shoes. And Australians have had enough. They have had protests. Here's some photos of a recent one with people outside Parliament House in Melbourne. And also a huge convoy of truck drivers blocked Sydney Harbour Bridge causing a massive gridlock in protest of the draconian regulations. That was on Saturday. And yet the announcements, the warnings, there's been an advert of a young person not being able to breathe. Propaganda is ongoing and relentless. Here we have the Chief Health Officer, Dr. Kerry Chant, who tells people today to basically stop being human. Whilst it is in human nature to engage in conversation with others, to be friendly, um, unfortunately, this is not the time to do that. So even if you run into your next door neighbour in the shopping centre, in the Coles, while you're at Coles and Woolworths or Aldi or any other um, grocery shop, don't start up a conversation. Now is the time for minimising your interactions with others. Even if you've got a mask, do not think that affords total protection. We want to be absolutely sure that as we go about our daily lives, we do not come into contact with anyone else that would pose a risk. So, I mean, you know, bear in mind the government claim that there has been just two deaths in the last eight months. Just two. And this is how they are carrying on. Are we witnessing a form of desperation here? I mean, we are seeing some bizarre behaviour and statements from these government officials around the world at the moment. In some ways, it could well be desperation. Or are they just going straight out bonkers? If you are a viewer from Australia and have any info of what is going on over there, let me know. Send me an email through the website at hugotalks.com and I'll see you later.